Halloween-y. Let me pull up what I'm doing here. I had to confiscate my daughter's phone because my tablet wasn't bringing up Pinterest. Rude. This is what we're doing tonight. We are doing this creepy jack-o'-lantern looking face. I prepped part of this already. I don't want these to be super long. I just used a lighter foundation on this side. I sprayed it with setting spray and I set it with powder so it has a good base. I'm just going to pat on this bright orange oh snap blush here. I think Lime Life's new colors came out just in time for Halloween. They're so vibrant. I'm just going to do a light coat of this. And then it looks like there's some shadowing in the picture. I like to have options, so I start early. I have creepy contacts around somewhere, but of course, could I find those really quick before I had to hop on here? No. So I'm gonna have to search for those or else order new ones they may have they may have drove me nuts last year and maybe I threw them away that very well could be what happened I think I'm gonna cut in my little crease line there my lime life pen and she's got some little veiny like things coming out Like, I can't wear Halloween paint on my face. It drives me crazy. I start off good for a little while, and then I just want to scratch my face off. So last year, when I actually used regular foundation, I did not have the itchiness. It was amazing. I'm going to outline this little square thing over here. Stay with me. Good thing these things aren't toxic. Okay, let's fill those babies in. This is just eyeshadow and I mixed it with this bionic gel activator this is actually from Danessa's website so we can just take our actual shadow pigments and mix them and it gets like a nice jelly eyeshadow consistency so you don't have to use the goopy ugly face paints I did test it out earlier and it dried a nice and I just set it with setting spray twice and it stayed and it doesn't feel all gross and cakey. P.S. Don't use your good makeup brushes for Halloween makeup, please. Her eyes like super black in there. Are we getting there? We're getting there. And it makes this awesome black color. And the fine lines, I just used the liner pen. Pumpkin face lines, ready, set, here we go. Do some crazy look too.
Okay, I'm gonna let this thing dry a little bit. This stuff set up so good earlier. I'm super impressed with my paint I made. Now it's getting real. How's this freak show looking, you guys? <laughs> Monster. Cool. I like it. I like it a lot. The f the whole lip thing makes it look creepier. Not gonna lie. Good! Let's see what else we need on here. I think we need some highlight. In this schwaky little highlight palette, there's some awesome highlight for orange business. Give my jack-o'-lantern a highlight. That adds a lot. Holy cow. Isn't that crazy? Just makes those things pop. This highlight in here makes it look incredible. It would be perfect at night. Those spots would just glow. And I'm using like this kind of an iridescent gold in the highlight palette. Oh, Halloween, how I love you. You guys have any looks you want me to do through the month? I am more than willing to give them a shot. Give my black nose a little highlight. Awesome possums. I think we'll throw some mascara on here because there's some like foundation on there. Can't even see my eyelashes in here. Fantastic, guys. How do you do? My first Halloween look of the year. Here she is. Not too bad. But have a fantastic Halloween night.